So it is the 22nd of July and I thought I haven't done one of these um, talk to you guys while I do my makeup. So even though I've done like foundation and contour, who knew, who knew that I'd ever be a girl who did contour? Like I literally, up until a couple of weeks ago, didn't even really know what that meant. Um, but now I do it. Um, yay. And I might actually do a whole separate video about Fenty Beauty because if they can get me to actually enjoy putting on makeup and to actually put it on well, then, you know, I think that deserves to be <laughs> shouted from the rooftops. Um, but yeah, so I thought I will talk to you guys while I finish. Right, so as I was saying, um, yeah, so... It's been a weird um, week, well, a couple months really, um, and but this week I actually finished um, a vlog. I actually uploaded, one night I just couldn't sleep, um, and two nights ago, and I literally just did November's vlog very quickly as well. Um, and it was it was just great um it was just great to get one out there again and um and yeah it was it was a lot better content compared to the previous one that i'd also done quite recently um and i'm just glad that in one more time one more vlog time i will have done january to december which because i've already done a whole year but not a chronological year um so yeah so that's quite exciting um but yeah this these last couple months and i think it's been building for a while but now it seems to be getting um you know reaching the climax if you will is because i've been i've done freelance stuff from home from this very desk um i've done a bits and pieces here and there um and i've even done a bit of shadow shadowing at the um for the program that i worked on um for seven months that i really love so that was really cool so it's not like i haven't done anything professional but um definitely not for a while um and I've just been feeling ill and on and off and so I haven't even really you know when you're like off from school but you can't even enjoy 
um, you know, watching TV. You can't even enjoy being off. And that is what it's been like. It's sort of, you know, you're not getting the engagement from being outside and doing something you enjoy um, and you haven't um, been able to even do that much at home either. Um, so it's all just a bit... Yeah, I just feel like I'm not... As much as I don't feel like ready to go into full-time employment um, because I have been feeling ill on and off, um, I also don't... I'm not getting the fulfilment that I need. I'm someone who can't... You know, I'm always driven. I'm all, That's why, I thank God, I do have the vlogs to do because um, I am someone who needs... You know, I'm not someone who just takes long time off, you know, I need, I define a lot of my worth from being busy. And even though I'm really learning, trying to, even though I'm really learning to try and reframe that, because that's not healthy. Um, it's still, you know, I think everyone does that to an extent, you know, just being on the train, like when I went to, um, do the shadowing and I went to Soho uptown and just being on the train uh, with all the commuters and even like doing the lunch rush and all these things you sort of take for granted um, when you're doing it every day um, it just felt like it just really feels like you're part of something like all these strangers are all running around and you're one of them and you just really feel part of it whereas when I'm stuck at home, like, I, I have been trying to go out a bit more and more. But, again, because I haven't had the energy, you know, you don't see a lot of people on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't get to have that sort of water cooler moment where you go into the kitchen to make yourself a cup of tea um, in the work day. And then say to someone, oh, how was your weekend? Or, you know, have you seen that thing on Netflix or whatever? So, it has been quite isolating and my friends you know they all have jobs and lives and all this stuff and so they um you know aren't free at the same times that I am and you know again I have been trying to see friends I went to that festival um with Martha recently and stuff like that but it's just yeah it's just it's just getting to the point now where I want my life back, you know, as much as, you know, it's nice not being stressed out every day, doing loads of work, it's a different kind of stress because I just sort of, you know, it feels like my life doesn't really have any purpose or meaning at the moment. And as much as, again, when I have the energy, I'm trying to like have these watercolour pencils and I'm even trying to get into, like, I really enjoyed a puzzle the other, like a couple of weeks ago and... And I've been reading a lot more and stuff like that. You know, I really am trying to make use of my time off. Like, I'm trying to, again, I feel like I've said when I have the energy this whole video, but I want to go back to yoga and I've seen there's a Zumba class near me and stuff like that. So it's not like I literally have just been at home watching Netflix, but it's starting to, just to feel like, yeah, I want to get back out there. I want to just you know, have some sense of normality. And I am someone who thrives off routine, off structure. And like I said, as much as I'm trying to make sure I combat that so I'm not out of whack every time I have to be on holiday or... Because freelance is so... You know, you're really busy one week and then completely free the next so as much as I am trying to yeah not rely on that it's very difficult I guess I'd say to you guys if at home if you're kind of you know getting annoyed with just going to work day and day because I I know what that's like as well that's the other side of it um but just try and sit back and appreciate actually you know you know, as much as it can be annoying, um, you know, you can, on the other hand, yeah, you can kind of feel trapped 
knowing exactly you know what you're going to be doing the next couple of weeks or months um that a full-time job gives you but i would just say to you even if you're not feeling that way just in general sort of sit back and go you know as much as the deadlines and the stress and the daily commute can all be annoying um try and see it as a positive thing um because you know it really it really is like everything you know everything has its its positives and negatives but yeah i would just say to you um try and see the benefits of having that routine of having security because yeah you know i looked at my bank balance yesterday and was like oh god yeah i really do um need to start having some money coming in again um because yeah it's not nice having to you know you want to go out you want to do stuff and then having to think well i don't really have the money um so yeah um, and what something else that I've been doing that I highly suggest everyone do. I bought this gorgeous notebook the other day. Look how shiny and pretty it is of from Waterstones um, of this Van Gogh painting. I don't know is it Van Gogh, Van Gogh. I always prefer saying Van Gogh, but anyway. Um, and I really need to actually go see the exhibition that's uptown at the moment at the Tate. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that. I'll hopefully go there soon. But what I thought I want, because I always buy these really pretty notebooks and never know what to do in them because I write all my notes um, on Evernote, like on my phone and my laptop, like, and they're so pretty. I always feel like, you know, I don't just want to write shopping lists in here and I never really know what to do. In my, in my other nice notebook, I tried to do a bullet journal, didn't get very far. Um, so yeah, I didn't know, but then I thought, um, because sunflowers always search for the sun, um, I wanted this to be some way of me trying to add a bit of positivity into my daily life. And what I realized is I could do a sort of gratitude journal because I've never really done anything like that. Um, so I started yesterday um and like ignore the really bad picture of a sunflower um i basically just said um i want to be like a sunflower and reach for the sun which i thought was quite a nice um sentiment and yeah i just wrote the date and then i'm grateful for and just this big list um and i'll read them for you now i'm grateful for the sunshine my sight, peppermint tea, cheesy bites from McDonald's, I mean, but all like mozzarella, anything cheesy and like bread crummy, oh god, I mean just cheese in general to be fair, Morgana and Sabrina, my lovely kittens, Netflix, my remaining money, new makeup remover, this new notebook, um, and Headspace. <laughs>